Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about how to use the Do Not Disturb feature on your iPhone. We've all been woken up during the middle of the night by that random notification or had our phone go off during a job interview or meeting. Anyways, I know you're not here for the small talk, so let's get right to it. The simplest way to turn on the Do Not Disturb feature is from your control center. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen to bring up your control center. If you have the iPhone X models, you swipe down from the top right of the screen. Tap on the half moon toggle to turn on Do Not Disturb. If you long press the Do Not Disturb toggle, you will bring up several options on how long you want Do Not Disturb on. You can choose between one hour, until I leave this location, or until tomorrow morning. This option changes depending on the time of day you access this menu. If you tap on Schedule, it will lead you to the Settings menu. You can also access the Settings menu for Do Not Disturb from your home screen by tapping on the Settings icon and scrolling to Do Not Disturb. Here, you can turn Do Not Disturb on or off. Green indicates it is on. You will also see a half moon toggle on the top right of your screen when Do Not Disturb is on. You can schedule your Do Not Disturb features to specific times by simply tapping the circle next to Schedule and setting up the time frame. This option is most useful during your regular sleeping hours. You can also enable the bedtime option by tapping on the circle. When this feature is enabled, your lock screen is dimmed and your notifications only appear if you access your notification center by swiping up. I like this feature for when I wake up during the middle of the night and don't want to be distracted by the random notifications on my screen. You can choose whether you want your phone to be silenced always or while phone is locked. Scrolling further, you get to specify which calls to allow while do not disturb is on. You can choose between everyone, no one, or favorites. If you have groups created, you have the option to select that too. The following option I particularly like in case of emergencies. Sometimes you have that urgent phone call that needs to reach you. Those phone calls are usually more than once within a few minutes. You can allow repeated calls from the same person within three minutes to not be silenced. Just tap on the circle to turn green. In the Do Not Disturb While Driving section, tap on Activate. You have three options to select from. I normally have it on manually because I don't drive but you can also choose between when connected to car Bluetooth or automatically, which turns do not disturb on or off based on the motion detected. Finally, you have the option to send auto reply messages to people that send you messages while do not disturb is on. You can select who you want your auto reply message to go to by tapping on auto reply to and choosing between no one, recent, favorites, or all contacts. Once you made your selection, go back and tap on Auto Reply to customize your message. The iPhone already has a text you can use. And that's it! Those are all the options the Do Not Disturb feature has to offer. Hope it helps. By the way, if you want to get rid of a used phone, trade it in for cash at SwatSmart.com. It's quick and easy. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel, like the video, or leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Until next time.